and welcome to another episode of Beer Reactions. I'm Jono. And I'm Paul. And tonight we're going to introduce you to another amateur brewer who's hopefully going to be our home crafted hero. Indeed. So who have we got this week, Paul? We've got a chap called Tom Workman. Now, Tom's been brewing on and off for about 15 years. Um, he works in the food and drinks industry and he's really quite interested in, um, in beer and everything beer-like. Okay. Um, quite interestingly, um, one of the things that Tom told us was his biggest frustration was that you get loads and loads of fancy-looking beers and cans. The artwork and things like cans, that. Yeah. And often the artwork um, is fancier or more more exciting than what's inside. Indeed, and I yeah. think what Tom's trying to say is that he's hoping to brew beers that are as Just exciting on the inside, if not more exciting. Than the artwork on the outside. Than the artwork on the outside. If indeed the artwork's needed at all. Exactly. The beer should speak for itself, exactly. really, shouldn't it? But the other interesting thing about Tom is that he is, he's been trying the same sort of recipes over and over and tinkering with them and he's actually hoping to start up a brewery um, by the end of the year. That's fantastic. What and sell, you know, so he's selling both in bottles and in a tap room or something like that. Yeah, that's right. He's actually said he's, he's, his goal is to open a tap room of his own. Well, that was very perceptive of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tom sent us two beers and now Tom got in touch with us through the Facebook and offered to send us some beers and uh, we really hope that some other home amateur brewers out there will get in touch with us and offer to send us some beer because we're always happy to taste account. beer <laughs> <laughs> we are. who wouldn't be so tom sent us two beers tell us a little bit about the one you've got johnny well the one that i've got it's called x max the hop it's an, an american oaked rum ale um with toffee caramel and rum uh, so it'd be interesting to see what this one tastes like i'm very curious about the rum part of it that sounds delicious well the one i've got is uh, called land of hops and glory and it is an american pale ale Right. So it's six point eight percent. So that's quite a strong one. Yeah. This one's five point five. Actually, no, okay. Five point okay. five. Okay. I'll just hold that one up there so you can have a look at this one up as well. Very good. Go. Some good, some good little labels there as well. Yep. So I'm, I'm very excited to try these. Shall we do the American one first? Let's go for that one. Let's do it. Let's go get for, pouring. Let's get pouring. Oh, that sounded, that sounded fantastic. Great, didn't it? Oh, look at that little genie come out. <laughs> the genie. <laughs> Welcome to the brew shed, little genie. So, it's always to me that's always a sign of a, of a good uh, of a good beer. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna film that going in there, so we've got some some good footage of a bit. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That is incredible. And we'll give this a sniff smell, shall we'll we? We'll give it a sniff, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's... It smells good. It does smell good. It does smell There's a little bit. an apricotty smell there. There's an apricot smell there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Apricotty or perhaps a little bit citrusy. Look at the colour. It's very pale straw coloured that, it it's is, nice. It is. It's looking a little bit cloudy, but you know, I think for a beer um, like that, I think that's probably to be expected. It's not a New England IPA, this is no, just No, I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't have any oats or um, wheat in it. I think I'm going to get in there and give that a taste. Yeah, I think we need to taste that. Think of that, Jono. Mm. You can certainly taste that that's quite a strong beer. It's got an initial, it's got an initial, it is all, I still think there's a bit of apricot there. There's an apricot sweetness. It's a pleasant, malleable sweetness, but then there's a real sharpness that hits the back of the tongue. It's very sharp, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Very sharp. It is. It is. Mm. It's, actually, then, it's, it's actually quite dry, I yeah. think, as a beer. Yeah, it's a dry beer. It's it's quite it's, it's a little bit it's a little bit astringent on the tongue, but that I'm I'm actually finding that quite pleasant. It's it's something I would imagine would be quite thirst quenching, but I think it's quite strong. You can taste the alcohol in that. Mm. Yeah, you can. You can. Now, what did I say? That six point eight percent. Forgotten actually. Forgotten. Yes, yeah, six point eight percent. Certainly, 
is a, it is quite a dry beer, but I'm not saying that that's um, that's unpleasant by any means. The carbonation in there is it's excellent. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. And there is there is there is very there's definitely a a, a citrusy. Um, oh, a, a kind of piney taste actually, a yeah. citrusy piney yeah. flavour there. And it's a resinous flavour. Yes, it is. There's a it? slight resinous to it. After that, after that initial apricot sweetness, there's the dryness, and then you get that bitterness at the back of the tongue, and then you're left, left with the resinous, a resinous aftertaste. Yes, yes. And then actually there's another hot flavour comes through right then. If you breathe out then through your nose you get another hot flavour. Yeah you do, you do, you do. I'm just going to see what, what hops uh, Tom's used in this beer. Um, well it doesn't say actually. But there, but there is both hops and hop extract. Now I haven't used hop extract before in my own beers but I know a lot of people add hop extract to get that sort of real sort of hoppiness once the beer I think you add it Hop in, oil. The, in the fermenter don't you? Uh, no yes so you do I've used uh, Golding Amphigols oh, okay. hop okay. extract I've okay. got some in the fridge in okay. shed um, you just put a few drops in Dep well it depends entirely on how, much, how big your how, how, how big your brew length is mm. but there's so many drops per litre that you put in mm. well I think um, Tom if you are planning on opening a, a tap room have this on the bar. Have this on the bar. <laughs> it's, it's really good. It's really good. Shall we put this aside and have but a look at Tom's other beer? Let's do that. Let's okay. do that. So tell us about this other beer Tom's got, Jono. Well, this is the X Marks the Hop. It's another American beer, but it's called this. It's an American Oaked Rum Ale. And this is 5.5% ABV. And it's put some notes underneath that says toffee, caramel, and rum. I'm really interested in this one. Well, shall we just open it and Let's give it a go? Are you listening? I'm listening. Put it up to the mic. <laughs> and there's another one. Go join the your little friend, genie. little genie. <laughs> <laughs> really good job with the carbonation, Tom. So here we go. I'll go this very carefully. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? This looks like a really good one, Tom. Again, it's beautifully carbonated. This has got a smell. There's a there's a there's a a, a very alcoholic smell coming from this, Tom. No, it's not quite as strong as the, the American No, but PLA, I, there's it? something. Maybe it's it, maybe it's the rum. I don't know what you mean by rum. I'm presuming that means there's some. Is there actually rum added? Do you think, or is it rum? A uh, rum chip? So leave us like some that? leave leave us some some comments and let us know what you mean by the rum bit. Whether you've actually put rum into it, or whether it's it's like Paul says, whether it's wood chips that have been soaked in rum. Because I know often people so kickery in oak. In a different alcohol, yeah, like yeah, port right. or rum. That's right. That's right. Or even whiskey. Some that's getting a bit clouded. Yeah. Stop pouring that there. Just have we check the ingredients, eh, John? Or what's what's Tom said? Malt extract, hops, hop extract, okay. and dried brewing yeast. Okay. Which, right. That's what it says. Okay. okay. Well, let's get in there and have a sniff. Oh yeah. <sighs> there is a definite. Mm. There is a definite sort of rumminess to that. Oh gosh, the. I got a kind of almost a kind of sugary smell there, and that must be the kind of. Um, it's like a molasses smell, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's what, yes, it's like molasses or dates or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, figs or dates, figs, definitely. Yep. Dried and fruits vanilla. is like vanilla, it's vanilla dried fruits, vanilla dates. It's it. almost like it's like definitely Christmas cake vanilla. in a glass. Well, we're hoping to do a review of Christmas beers in the next couple of weeks, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold that. This may well have been a good one to do. That is really good. Sorry, I'm gonna have to get in there and have a wee taste of this. Oh, that's good. That's good. 
That has got a very, a very sort of almost like whiskey barrel flavour mm. about it. You know when you get the wood from a whiskey barrel and yep. it still retains that smell for a long time well, after. Well, it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of um, the Little Brown Mouse beer that I brew. It's quite it does, similar yeah. in taste to that, um, which is kind of similar to Innocent Gun's original beer. It's almost like, and this 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 is a nice thing. I'm not saying this is as, as any kind of detriment to it. It's almost like biting into a toffee apple. You get that sweetness followed by that sharpness of the apple bit, then the, yeah, and the no, sweetness stays there. That. But then you get, get that. that that sharpness coming behind it, and it all that. mixes together. And then there's almost a pungency there, which I think mm. is like that's what I mean by that whiskey sort of barrel yeah. Yeah. flavor smell. You know, it's it's almost like. It's almost like a pudding wine. There's, um, the, the thing is, it's not a sweet beer. Don't don't get me no, wrong. No, it's there, not. There's a real, there is a real kind of sweetness coming through, but there's also, the, the, there's a, it's not quite a dryness. I mean, it is it is a dry beer. It's not as dry as the other beer, um, Tom. But there's. There's a tartness as well as a sweetness, which yeah. is really quite interesting. And actually, for me, that's working really well. Yeah, it is. It's like it is. As I said earlier on, it's like it's like Christmas cake in a, in a glass. It's like that. All those mixed fruits that you get with the, with the citrus of the candy peel and stuff like that, it and is. then steeped in alcohol. There's usually the brandy or rum or something like that in there. Mm. Even even that sort of amaretto or cherry. There's a, the, yep. in in there as well. So, so Tom, it's definitely rummy. That's a really good, that is a really good beer. I'm interested. To, well, you already asked the question, John. Oh, is it is it chips? Is it, is it chips yeah. that are soaked in rum that Tom's used? Or is it actually rum? I'm not that you sure. Put in? So do leave us a comment, Tom, and let us know. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of a uh, an amateur, an amateur brewer and a home crafted hero score, what are we going to give Tom? Do you think? What for each one or in total? I think total. In total. I think I'm going to go with a solid seven. I think. Yeah, I, I, I would say seven point five. Seven point five. Yeah. There you go. So that's fourteen and a half yeah. out of twenty. That's good. Tom, I just want to uh, raise our glasses to you and say thanks very much. There's a couple of really, really nice beers. Unusual beers as well. And yeah. Tom did say um, earlier this evening when I told him we were filming this episode that he was happy to send up some more beer in the future when he's oh, got some do. other recipes on the go. So please do, Tom. Um, and we'll we shall watch your career with great interest, I think, indeed, as, it, as it takes off. And we wish you all the very best. And we may even come um, and visit. With your brew company. <laughs> but that would be fabulous, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So if you get yourself up and running and get your tap room up and running, Tom, get in touch with us and let us know because we'd love to come and see you. Please do. So here's to you, Tom. So here's to you, Tom, and the Little Beer Brewing Company. Well done. Well done. Slange. Slange.